I'm Joe Wallace. This is GearWire.com. Let's take a look at some of the basic features of the Lexicon Omega with Cubase LE. Before you install the USB drivers for the Lexicon Omega, make sure that the USB connection between the Omega and your computer are already made. Once you're into Cubase, what you're going to do is go to Devices and Device Setup. You're going to select VST Multitrack, and then you're going to select from this pull-down menu the Lexicon USB ASIO. It'll ask you if you want to switch. You say yes, and then from there on, we are ready. Since this is our first time recording tracks with the Lexicon Omega, we're going to record a test track. We're going to take an electric guitar and plug it directly into the instrument input on the front of the Omega. That's line three. Uh, when that's plugged in, we're going to assign it USB channels one and two. We will set the monitor for the mono input so that we can hear the guitar in both uh, sides of the headphones, uh, left and right. And then once we're set up there, we're going to go into Cubase LE, and we're going to start a new project. And we're going to record on track one. And you'll see that uh, we're going to click Record Enable. And we're going to uh, make sure that... Uh, we get a, get a signal that the, uh, input, the input to audio one is actually coming from uh, line three in the Lexicon Omega. And is, uh, as long as we can see that signal, we know that we're set up. We don't have to go in and tweak any settings. And now we can just uh, record some really out of tune strumming. Now the recording we just made is one possible routing through Omega and uh, Cubase. Uh, you can record from any input to any track and you can also record to multiple tracks at the same time. Uh, we're using line three, which is uh, again the instrument uh, input on the front of the Lexicon. You can take that and it can go to Cubase through USB bus 1 or USB bus 3. You can record it onto uh, tracks 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Any track when in 1 or in 3, depending on uh, which USB bus the line 3 is assigned to, is selected as the track input source. Now you can also record into multiple channels at one time. That's a topic we will cover in another video. That's it for this edition. I'm Joe Wallace. This is GearWire.com.